thanks for letting me go first. I actually need to be in another meeting right now, so I'm just going to kind of make this real quick. Um, so I've been a member of Division 17 since I was a graduate student at the University of Utah. That was almost 20 years ago. I don't like thinking about it because it's like such a long time ago. Uh, makes me feel old. Um, it is a great honor to be awarded fellow status in this division. And throughout my career in academia, I've been actively involved in conducting culturally informed research on Mexican American college student development and educational persistence. Because values and beliefs are shaped by an individual's cultural heritage, my work has primarily focused on the acculturative process. Now, my work in the acculturation arena has grown from examining only behavioral components of acculturation to examining more cognitive components, especially when it comes to college student mental health. Now, in my work, I have noticed that um, current studies that are in this area often use uh, instruments that are sorely lacking in validity. That is, I question whether these scales are actually measuring the construct the researcher has proposed to measure. Another thing that I've noted is that some researchers themselves lack an in-depth understanding of the cultural constructs used in their measures, sometimes confusing uh, racial identity with ethnic identity. Um, now, counseling psychology has often taken the lead in developing cutting edge and sophisticated theories and scales to move cultural research forward. And I've done this in my own work by developing scales such as the intergroup marginalization inventory and the Maidanismo belief scale. Um, however, scales such as this are limited and in, in regards that they are a drop in the bucket of what else is really needed it, to move the research forward when doing uh, cross-cultural research. Now, when working with my students on their research projects, we continue to find ourselves disappointed that we can't find adequate scales. For example, um, in my conversations with a colleague, we talk about Latino well-being, because that's uh, her area of focus. And we looked at the life satisfaction sale, for example, and we talk about how that can be limiting in examining what is considered well-being for a Latino population. For example, um, this scale doesn't pick up kind of the collectivistic nuances for, uh, for the Latino culture. Um, and as we talked, I try to encourage her to develop uh, a more Latino, uh, a theory around Latino well-being, and then subsequently developing a scale around that. Um, but then I realized that you know she's a junior faculty member, she wants tenure, um, and students, they want to graduate, so they don't have time that it takes to develop a theory and then uh, developing a scale to measure that. Um, so what I want to talk to you about is just kind of a couple of points that I wanted to highlight that for researchers now to kind of uh, uh, concentrate on how we can move our field forward, especially in counseling psychology. Um, first, we need to examine um, or ask ourselves, are we examining complex cultural constructs such as acculturation and enculturation multidimensionally? You know, health research tends to use proxy measures uh, such as asking whether a person speaks English or Spanish or years in the U.S. To, uh, in order to assess a complex construct like acculturation. Um, but what we need to do is to use our scales that we have and use it uh, to examine acculturation multidimensionally rather than just saying whether acculturation is high or low. We need to take it a step further and show how acculturation and enculturation influence an outcome. By doing so, we are better able to understand the process and develop better interventions. Another thing to ask yourself is, are the scales that you're usually, are you using really picking up the constructs that you intend for it to measure? So when a student asks me, um, when you say a, for a recommendation for an acculturation scale, I usually ask them, when you tell me that you want to measure acculturation, what exactly do you mean? because there are very different components and facets to acculturation. But a lot of people tend to kind of focus on one aspect on the behavioral kind and tend to go to looking at uh, using the ARSMA scale just because it's been used before. So we need to ask ourselves, okay, with this construct that we are looking at, um, 
is the scale that we're using, those items, are they picking up the, the construct that we are wanting to measure? For example, is an item like, I enjoy English language movies adequate in identifying an association to depression? Or perhaps an item like, family members tell me that I act white may be more specific to your hypothesis as to why Latino college students experience distress. So these are items from different measures of acculturation. And focusing on one uh, type may lead you to a different answer than focusing on another. So we really need to kind of look at the items in a scale, and not just because the scale says it's an acculturation scale or a well-being scale that you're going to use it, and it's going to pick up what you want it to pick up. And then last, uh, I want to talk about recycling. Now, recycling in general is a good thing. But when it comes to cultural research, the recycling of scales or scale items can be limiting. So for example, I, one of the things that I notice in, um, in the research that I do, uh, acculturation research, that sometimes people will use uh, the acculturation, the ARSMA, the acculturation rating scale for Mexican Americans, and use it with a different population like Laotian Americans. This may or may not pick up um, acculturation for that specific population. Again, it's the, these people, they're mostly students, sometimes junior faculty who are in a rush to collect data, and in a hurry, they don't want to create or, or start from the beginning and creating a theory around acculturation in a specific uh, cultural group, and instead try to recycle scales. Um, so what I'm asking for is that we need to be more cognizant of how we are approaching research, how we are looking at these complex cultural constructs and how we are measuring them. So thank you. And thank you uh, for uh, this fellowship. Being the Vision 17 fellow it is a, an honor for me after this long um, uh, work that I've done in, in counseling psychology. Thanks.